Thanks to Leia for sponsoring this video. So it's pretty easy to think that all screens are the same. But looks can be deceiving. And some displays are much, much more special than others. So this is the Loompad from Leia Inc. And Leia might not be a name that you're familiar with, but you've probably seen their technology before. Now on the surface, it looks like an Android tablet. It's got a USB-C port. It's got a really nice high resolution display. Nothing about the hardware itself looks that exciting until you turn it on. So the big story with the Loompad and why it's different, the technology is so far ahead of anything else is because of this technology called light field. And that's used in the display. And that allows the loom pad to show things like games, movies, pictures, and really a whole lot more in real 3D without any glasses required. So it's hard to put into words what this looks like. And it's even harder to show it on camera. But when you see the 3D technology from the light field display in action, you can see depth and you can see movement. And that's not something that I've ever seen before. And I've tried a bunch of other 3D phones. I've tried 3D TVs and glasses. And the experience was always a mixed bag. This is not that. This is the vision of what 3D was always supposed to be. And it's the first time that it's ever actually been realized in a real product that we can get in our hands. So everything kind of starts and stops with that 10.8 inch display and it's bright, it's vibrant, it looks good. You know, as far as a regular display for 2D images, it's it's fine, it's, it's decent, but that's not the story. So the panel itself, it's a typical LCD display that can go 2D at 2560 by 1600. It's a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. That's gonna make anything here look bright, sharp, and pretty vivid. So below that is actually a second layer and it's a proprietary diffractive light field backlight layer or DLB. So it's the magic kind of technology that helps illuminate the 3D objects as they appear to pop off the screen. And the lights projecting out four views simultaneously, creating what they're calling a 4V image. And then beyond that, there's also a third layer. It's a regular 2D backlight that's gonna light the other content that you'll see on the screen. And all this is being powered by like a processor you know. It's being powered by a Snapdragon chip that's gonna keep everything running fast. You know the platform, you trust the platform, you don't have to worry about this thing slowing down after a few months. So really the best way to showcase this, and what I've done when I wanted to show people how cool this tech was, was using the Leia Viewer. Essentially what it does lets you load in and then show 3D objects. So you can load in your own 3D objects, and as you sort of move it around, you can see the light coming out, and you can actually see what appears to be depth to the images. 3D is kind of a growing field, and right now I think it's fair to call it kind of a, a niche thing. But there's a really dedicated community that follows 3D, and for those folks, there's their own social network. And it's called Leiapix. It lets you share pictures there and lets you comment on things that other people have shared too. And again, my favorite part is being able to load those other 3D images that people have created on there. It's pretty full featured and powerful and a great way to interact with folks who are really interested in sort of the emerging sort of 4V 3D technology. So like 3D images are cool, but the real use case and kind of where I had the most fun was actually watching video. Uh, and that's where Leia Stream comes in. And what we're gonna get there is a pretty impressive collection of 3D videos from professionals, creators, amateurs, enthusiasts. That's a cool way to sort of show off the 3D video that you've made yourself. Uh, and obviously the other play of a tablet is games and apps. And to download those kind of things, there's Lay Aloft. And that's where you go to get sort of a pretty nice cross section of 3D applications from productivity to games. So I don't know if you guys have ever seen cameras try to capture 3D, especially cinematic ones. They are like insane spider looking rigs. With the loom pad, that's really all you need. Uh, you can capture 3D directly with the tablet itself. So on the back, there are two 60 megapixel cameras that are paired with the Leia Cam app that kind of lets you capture photos and videos. You can also do video, it's actually dual 1080 uh, at 30 frames per second 
and also 1080 at 60 frames per second, depending on what you want. And after you record your footage, you're gonna wanna play it back, and that's where sort of lay a player uh, is going to be the perfect tool for that. It also lets you go back and do some edits as well. It lets you do sort of the usual stuff you'd expect from editing app, like brightness, contrast, saturation, uh, but also 3D effects, like the level of depth, focus, even the bokeh that's going on with that. Uh, it's really easy, you just move a slider. It's super slick. Uh, and also, you can breathe new 3D life into like older 2D images that you might already have. There's a 3D conversion function that's built in. You just open up a 2D picture and lay a player and along the bottom, you'll see an icon, you just tap it and it's converted. And you can sort of take these old photos and make them 3D. If you wanna get like more next level, there's an app for that. There's Lightfield Studio. Uh, this is desktop software. It lets you sort of create videos optimized for the loom pad. I mean, so this begs the question, like where would this be useful? And sort of the first use cases are clearly business. A, a restaurant where you can sort of see the food before it gets served to you. Uh, hospitality, where you can maybe experience a room, what that might look like before you check in or pick the right room for you. You know, retail, sort of look at, at shoes or pants or shirts, whatever it might be, and sort of move them around and get a 3D effect of what you might be buying. Uh, it's a lot of cool ways to experience things in the real world digitally. And especially now when people are stuck at home, quarantining, it can sort of bring that 3D interaction home to you. And aside from businesses, there's a personal use too. If you're a creator and you wanna be able to show things differently, you want a different platform to express your vision, you now have a blank 3D canvas, to sort of mold and paint your vision, your picture, your video in a way we've never seen before. So if you wanna learn more or check out the Loom Pad or pick one up for yourself, I'll link to it down below.